Kyle having a mess up. That is the East Aurora Towers. So this is Kyle's apartment in the East Aurora Towers. Two bedrooms, 20,000 pesos a month, plus, uh, plus water, electricity, gas, etc. It is wheelchair friendly all the way from the lobby to the CR. So this is uh, Kyle having a massage. <laughs> Home massage. We are at the sand trap, and Carl's going to show us how he swims. So Carl, can you just uh, plop into any pool or is there specific features you look for? No, I look for um, no steps for start and somewhere I can get my chair right to the edge of the pool like this. Like, like what we've done today? Yeah, without having to put the chair itself into the water mm -hmm. at Rex bearings. And I actually prefer to get out up onto the dry because then I can get my chair right close to me. So this, this pool is not a preferable pool for you then? No, not really. It's not bad though. It's manageable. Okay. So that looked a bit awkward then, uh, Carl. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, other, <laughs> other paraplegics that don't have the problem with my stiff legs with the spasm that I get, because my legs are always trying to kick straight, they can move around out of their chairs a lot easier than what I can. See, I've got to fight against my legs to be able to put myself in a position to move myself around. It makes getting around without the chair a lot more difficult. I'm inside the clubhouse at the sand trap and Carl's showing us how he plays billiards, or in this case, baseball. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a cut. Carl has said to be fair, he has to sit in the chair, so... <laughs> Interest quick release wheels. Here's the car. Here's Jenny driving the car while we're going along. And the car's already set up for a disabled person, so explain the controls now, Denny, please. Uh, this is the accelerator, so and, this, uh, and when you push it, it's the brake. Okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> it still has normal controls down there. You, those work, do they? The brake and uh, an accelerator on the floor, Denny? There's the ocean jet. The Kia at Lorena. And here's our jeepney balcony. Good windy today. And that's the view. Here is the upper swimming pool. 
Let Dundee's go. The church at Lazzie on Tiki Hall. This is our lunch stop. We're at the Sala Sala de Ong beach. <laughs> What's the name of this place that we're at? What's the name of this place? Don Disco. Don Disco. Don Disco. So here we are having lunch. Most wheelchair friendly place we found. <laughs> Of Chocolate Hills, and uh, and Carl got this far in his wheelchair. Yeah. Now we've got to see if we can get the rest, rest of the way, which is just there. <laughs> You're stuck already. Well, you may have done the bridge anyway. Here we are this morning. Uh, Carl Livingston, who's going to be riding up to the tops on his hand cycle. So tell us what's going to be happening today, Carl. I'm going to ride up to the top of the top. It takes about an hour and 15. I'm going to avoid getting hit by traffic and just enjoy myself. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Marker down there is a 10k mark. They're steadily climbing for 10k's. From here on in, it's two and a half k's to the top, and this is where it gets a little bit nasty. It starts to hurt a bit. So I noticed you stopped just then. What was that about? For a drink, it's hard to drink and breathe going up this hill. Okay. Some goats there. This is your rest stop, is it Carl? No, no, just waiting for you guys to catch up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is tops. It's 12 and a half days up to the top. It's taken an hour and 15. It's up all wind, it's very humid, about 28, 29 degrees. Oh. Hard day. It's worse when there's no wind. So we start going downhill now and uh, uphill Get back down. over there somewhere. <laughs> Looks like it's a rest stop for a few other cyclists anyway.
17 kilometres back to Cebu City.